Go get it, nation. You ready to get into the ring and KO your video? Let's go get it live right after this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Go Get It Live. Welcome to the show. Do not forget to hit that little share button. Of course, we're going to get to your questions like we always do. But now, for the folks at ringside and everyone watching this streaming broadcast around the world, let's get ready to KO your video. Plus, you're going to get a step-by-step -step fight plan to knock out graphic overlays and iMovie in just nine rounds. Let's go get it. What is going on? Go get it, nation. How we doing? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Go Get It Live. I am Corey Disson, the undisputed heavyweight champion of content. We're going to get to all of your questions today. We're going to talk content marketing. We're going to talk branding. We're going to talk email marketing, entrepreneurship, whatever it takes to help you grow your business do me a favor, let's take a few minutes and hit that share button, invite folks to join the party, tag a couple of friends in your comments. We have all sorts of go get it gospel to share with the world today. But like I said, now we're going to put on our gloves. We're going to float like a butterfly. We're going to sting like a bee. And we're going to KO your social media video. And stick around to the end, you get the chance to grab your fight plan to knock out graphic overlays in iMovie in just nine rounds. Wait till you see that. You're going to dig it, guys. So, hey, let's get to the shout-outs, one of my favorite parts of the show. We're going to start out. Let's see who's with us today. Linda Poff is with us. Linda, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. And my baby mama is here. 
Elaine, thank you for your support. You are the Adrian to my Rocky. I appreciate that. John Malone, we have entered the Malone zone. Thank you so much for joining us, my brother. Laura Rice, pint size pipes, powerhouse performance. Way to go, girl. Matt Rawlings, let's get it. Energy VO, my man in the house. Lance Huff, Michael Buffer's got nothing on me. Well, he's probably got several more zeros in his bank account than me, but uh, I'll do my best impersonation of him. But thank you anyway. Jim Cooper, the big dog, is with us. Thank you for joining us, my friend. David from Veteran VO, I salute you, my brother. Thank you for making it. Mark Harrietha, he's on target. We're loving that he's with us here today. Mark, thanks so much. Chris Jones, the bow nose video in the house. Some of this information you probably already know today, Chris, but I really thank you for your support and joining us. Derek Dorsey, what's up, dude? Turn up the bass. My man is in the house. Thank you so much. Mark Peoples, are you freaking kidding me? Mark Peoples, love you, buddy. Worked with him for years. Man, it's got huge, huge pipes. You've heard Mark's voice all over the place. Mark's a part of the VO mob. He's pals with my man, Chad Erickson, and Mark Maurer. I mean, damn, Mark. Thanks so much for joining us, brother. Let's see who else is with us. That's who I got here for now. Chris Jones. Mark is laughing. Thank you so much. So I'm going to dive right in. Keep in mind, guys, ask questions. They're going to load up in the comments section. I could see them off over there as they're piling up. And we're going to uh, take some time later to answer all of those. But let's get to the show here. This is important. So, hey, David Cameron Griffith. Hey, quick shout out to you, my friend. And I'll try to mix in shout outs as we go here as people are jumping on a little late. But that's cool. So, so check this out, y'all. I did a little, little homework, did a little, little Googling. And did you know that by 2022... That's about a year and a half from now. It's going to go quick. But by 2022, 80% of internet traffic is going to be online video. 80%. Let me say that again. 80% is going to be online video. So if you think about that for a second, that's 8 out of every 10 things that are posted. Now let's just, for the sake of argument, say, well, and whoever came up with that, projection got it wrong and let's just cut it in half four out of ten let's just say forty percent four out of ten are four out of ten of your posts video right now i doubt it i know i'm posting up a ton and i'm probably barely doing that but four out of ten posts video knowing that we're heading in that direction Knowing that we have this trend, so many of you have one excuse after another why you are not including video content in your marketing. And it, it's astounding because, uh, hey, John Duffin, thank you for joining us, brother. So many of you are, are quick to tout how you perform behind the mic but you're just so much slower to tout how much you do in front of the camera. It doesn't make any sense. We gotta fix that. So that's what this show is about, but getting you guys into the ring with your video game. Now, if you hung in there a couple of weeks ago or you watched the replay, hopefully you picked up your go get it game plan. You know what content to post and you know where to post it. We talked about all the different platforms where you can be posting things. Now, today, we're gonna focus a little more on how to create and post the video content, okay? Now, the goal of this episode is to get you moving with your social media video. And that's for your folks that are doing like none. Let's get you to the some level. We go from none to some. And then for your folks who are doing some or a little, let's do some more, okay? That's the whole goal of this. Now, I'm going to be doing this without being overly technical. I'm going to real quick tell you what this show is not. 
It's not going to be some fancy, crazy, technical video production course where you're going to be learning about, you know, three-point lighting and green screens and all different types of mic setups and all that white balancing, all that stuff. No, I'm talking about basic stuff. Stuff you have probably sitting in front of you right now that you're not using to the fullest that you can be utilizing to put some quality social media together, believe it or not. So we're going to cover some basics with your shooting gear. I'm going to give you a few simple suggestions on how to handle editing your footage. And we're going to talk fundamentals about how to post and, and how video works on different platforms. That might probably have the most value for you guys. But we're nevertheless, for some of the folks newer to the video production arena, we're going to cover some of this shooting and editing stuff too. So if you hang in there with me and you apply what you learn into your fight game, it's going to become that much easier to develop the know, like, and trust factor. And that's what this whole, you know, this whole mission is about. And what, what better way to get folks to know, like, and trust you than to get a little, little virtual eye contact with you talking on video to your network. Just makes perfect sense. So let's start out by talking about some of the real basic tools that you can use to shoot your video, okay? Number one, now I'm Captain Obvious here, okay? Uh, pull out one of these. Okay, cell phone. You should be able to shoot whatever you need on your cell phone nowadays. There, You don't have to go buy a, a fancy, expensive DSLR camera or 4K or HD camera or some crazy, you know, monstrosity that costs thousands of dollars. Just use your, your cell phone you already have. Or if you like to use your tablet or an iPad, you can shoot on, on those too. They have cameras and they shoot video. Uh, matter of fact, uh, all of the uh, one more round videos I did, I did a ton of those in first quarter. They were all shot on an iPad. So they shoot just fine. You can shoot on your laptop. Most laptops have a camera. This show right now is being broadcast through the laptop camera on a Mac computer right now. And if you're not going to use your phone, if you're not going to use your tablet, if you're not going to use the camera you know, that uh, comes with your laptop and you want to use your desktop and you're going to shoot from your studio, well, go get yourself uh, a pretty uh, inexpensive um, webcam. And for example, if you remember the wide shot, let's see, maybe I'll try to do it real quick. So see that shot right there that we did? And I'll go back to the main shot here. That shot right there is using a plug-and-play Logitech C920 uh, webcam. Just plugs right into USB. Like I said, it's plug-and-play. I think it might have been 100 bucks, um, And it pays for itself. It even has a microphone on it if, if I want to use it. So you have all of those different pretty cost-effective shooting options to collect your, your video. Now, what about an accessory or two. I don't want to get carried away here because there's a multitude of things you can get. But some basic things, low to no cost, you might want to think about. Think about maybe getting a stand, maybe something like that. It's a simple little iPhone stand. Your iPhone can sit on it like that or it could sit on it like that. But we prefer it this way. But um, you can, this little stand right here, five bucks on Amazon. You know, does not cost a lot of money at all. You want to go a step up from that? Go get yourself a basic tripod. You could probably get one at Walmart, or like I said, order one on Amazon. They range the low end, 20, 25 bucks. You shouldn't have to spend much more than that to put uh, to mount an iPhone to it. You can get yourself a selfie stick or with a little mount on there. John Duffin, who I know is watching the show today, I know he's got one of those, and I know he has a tripod too, but you know, to hold a little selfie stick, just something to hold the uh, the camera still. Now, if you want to jump up, you want to jump up and get something a little more elaborate, you can get something called a gimbal stabilizer. And what a gimbal stabilizer is, it's kind of a poor man's cam. You can mount your iPhone or your iPad 
to one of these things and has a gyroscope on it. So if you're moving it around, the camera stays still. It prevents, you know, from being jumpy with your movements. And there's another cool company you can investigate, which I highly recommend. Check out Iographer. I-O-G-R-A-P-H-E-E-R. Iographer. They make brackets you can snap your iPhone or iPad in, and those things mount onto a tripod. And I have one of those too. They work very well. So we talked about your camera. We talked about uh, getting yourself some type of stand or mount. Let's just give you a few shooting tips. Actually, I want to give you one big main shooting tip that I see all the time that you guys are messing up on. You need to shoot your footage horizontal. That means have your camera, your phone, like that. Don't do that. You want to shoot horizontal. Now that's an instruction. Maybe you call it a suggestion. Maybe it's a pet peeve of mine. But you want to be having that 16 by 9 or that HD aspect ratio. It looks more professional. Okay, you're not going to get those black vertical bars on other side on the other either side of that, or you're not going to get those blurry images. And you're going to get room to superimpose logos or graphics. If you notice, I've got a logo in the corner. Eh, what so, yeah, right there. Right. Go get it live. Backwards. There it is. So you're going to have room to do stuff like that, to wrap logos around your footage if you keep the screen wide. And we're going to talk about how to do overlays later. You'll see. Now then, you got your footage shot on your camera, shot horizontal, shot on your iPhone, using a, a mount or tripod. You took care of all that. You have all this great footage. What about editing? Well, you have options when it comes to editing your footage too. You don't just want to take your raw footage and, and upload it. You want to button it up a little bit. You want to be using free apps. Like if you're a Mac person, iMovie. iMovie is also on stock uh, app on your iPhone. You can go get very cost-effective apps like WeVideo or Headliner. Or you can use, I talk a lot about Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark you can use, obviously, for graphic design. They have Adobe Spark Post. You also have, you can make little mini web pages, Adobe Spark Page. But they also have Adobe Spark Video. You can make little videos using Adobe Spark. If you want to take a jump up from the, uh, the poor man's Adobe suite, you want to go up to Adobe Premiere, start editing on Premiere or something like a Final Cut Pro. Can't hurt with that. Or if you really want to get some help with your editing, go jump on one of these freelancer sites and hire some cost-effective video editor that you can send them clips and they can kick it back to you. You just want to be able to tighten up clips because I see uh, more often than not, for example, that second or two of someone pushing the start or stop button on their, uh, their phone to start or stop recording video, you want to cut that off. You want to trim that up. You know, it also saves you from doing take after take after take after take, stopping and starting. You can one run, one run, one long take, and then you can edit the pieces or portions you want. Okay. Now, I told you we we're going to talk about posting to uh, social media. Some of the uh, the ins and outs with that. You have this video shot. You got it edited nice. So let's talk about some of these specs to keep in mind when you post to the different social media platforms. LinkedIn, great place to be posting video. A couple things you want to keep in mind, a couple rules of thumb. First is you can upload video up to about 10 minutes on a post. And the other thing is, is a little bit of a difference from posts on your feed to, posts, to, to posting video on your profile. If you're going to put a video on your feed, you can actually use an MP4 or an MOV file. If you're going to include a video in your profile, like a portfolio, like a video of your audio demo, for example, or samples of TV spots you've done, you what you want to do is, is you want to use links, YouTube links or Vimeo links. So know the difference between posts on your profile and posts on your feed. One's a file, one's a link. Let's talk about Twitter. Twitter, 
It's abbreviated. You don't get 10 minutes like you do on LinkedIn. You get up to 140 seconds, two minutes and 20 seconds. Anything over that, you want to include a YouTube link or, or a, a Vimeo link, okay? Facebook, you know, it's like the Wild West. You got about two hours to, to post up just about whatever you want on there. Um, now let's talk about Instagram because this is where I see a lot of snags and speed bumps and people running into potholes with how you're posting video on Instagram. And I have to teach a lot of the, uh, the Go Get It Express members the differences between the different ways you can post video on Instagram. The easiest way I can describe posting video on Instagram, you can break it down into three options, okay? Option one, which is the shortest, it's up to 15 seconds. That's where you want to put, that's your story, okay? Stories are up to 15 seconds of video. Now, you could put 60 seconds of video on a story, but you're going to notice every 15 seconds, there's going to be that little glitch or that little like I said, that little speed bump, that little skip that goes from the first 15 second segment to the next 15 second segment. So general rule of thumb is put short little bursts on your story. On your feed, that's the nine tiles you see, the squares, you get 59-ish seconds, under 60, okay? Um, and then if you have something long that you want to post on Instagram, this is where I see a lot of mistakes being made on Instagram, is that Long form videos, anything over a minute, do not post to Instagram. You want to post it to Instagram's sister application, IGTV, that you can download separately to your phone, and it knows you have an Instagram account, and it immediately merges the two, and then when you post, let's say, a five-minute video on IGTV, it creates a preview version that lands in your feed that has a little prompt that someone can tap that'll say view full video. So remember, story up to 15 seconds, your feed 59 seconds or less, IGTV one to 10 minutes. And one other little thing about Instagram is that if you're gonna be shooting horizontal, like I said, horizontal, and you post it to your feed, you need to learn where the little zoom out button is on Instagram. It's when, as you're uploading your footage, you're going to get to one of the screens where you're going to see a small circle, lower left, with two arrows on it. If you tap that once, it'll zoom out so you get the whole horizontal version of your video. So you make sure you're not cutting off the left and right sides, okay? So that's your Instagram tutorial for today when it comes to video. Now, hopefully those things get you ramped up and in the ring. Like I said, we want to get you up and running. So we talked shooting, we talked a little bit of editing, we talked about some of the platform basics. If you really want to up your game and you really want to start to break brand, remember we talked about breaking brand? You got to learn how to incorporate your logo on your videos. You got to put your logo. You got to have it learn how to put an overlay on there. There are several apps out there that are, you know, a couple clicks, pretty easy to do, but as I promised in the promos leading up to the show, and obviously when I talked earlier when we got started, I have another free marketing resource that I'm going to give you. You just send me a comment right now or you, or you message me and say, hey, send it to me, and I'm going to send you guys a link to download your fight plan to knock out graphic overlays in iMovie in just nine rounds. And I can tell you, when I say nine rounds, obviously I'm keeping with the whole boxing theme, but it's literally nine frames, nine pictures that I'm going to show you step by step. There's not a lot of complicated language. I take you every step. Point here, click there. Click there, click there. And all of a sudden, you will have your logo superimposed wherever you want to put it on your video footage in iMovie. iMovie's free. My tips to get your logo on iMovie are free. So why wouldn't you try to do that unless you don't have a Mac? But I will send that to everyone that asks. Now, let's get to some more shout outs, shall we? And we can, uh, whether you're on the live, live feed, I appreciate you guys jumping in. We're going to give some more shout outs. We're going to be answering all your questions. Let's check it out here. Let me just scroll back down here a little bit. Let's see who else jumped on. Oh my goodness, there is so many people who jumped on here. So we talked about John Duffin. We said hi to 
Mark Harrietha. And let's see, Charlie Toro, the voice of the Go Get It podcast. Charlie, thanks for joining us, my brother. Tim Hoon, friend of my wife, thank you for jumping on here. Let's see here. I'm just looking for any other shout outs. And uh, (laughs) Charlie gives himself a shameless plug to help edit video. Charlie does this really well. He doesn't need these lessons that I'm giving. He does awesome. David Cameron Griffin mentions the the app called Clips. Um, Like I said, we use, John Duffin uses the gimbal. He's got a $22 uh, tripod. That's cool. David says he uses his his beer bottle as a stand for his camera. I've been known to do that on occasion too. Um, And Jim Cooper adds, most tripods these days come with an iPhone or smartphone bracket along with it. Good point. Um, Chris Jones mentions the free version of Wondershare Filmora. That's a good starter kit for you. And let's see here. Uh, We're talking about the music. Jim and John, I can't take any credit for performing the music, although uh, I got it from a really cool library. That's what I will tell you. Yo, Charlie. My man Charlie's in the house. Let's see who else is here. Drew, I'm going to send it to you. Linda, I will send it to you, no problem. Steve Tardio, welcome to the show. I will send you that list as well. Derek, I'm going to send it to you. Lance, you got it. John Duffin, coming at you, my brother. Jim, I will send it over to you, even though you know that graphic overlay and iMovie rules. Alicia Williams, the Velvet Voice, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. I will send it to you as well. Charlie Toro mentions Adobe Premiere Elements overlays are the SHI, hmm. Now, he just means they're really, really good. Um, Thank you, Drew. Appreciate uh, you enjoying the content. Uh, John Malone, I'm going to send that over to you. Laura Rice, I'm sending it to you. And Linda asks, does the logo need to be big enough to read all of it clearly, or is it acting more like a watermark? I think you need to find a happy medium. You don't want it to uh, compete with your footage, but you do want it large enough that someone looking at it on a cell phone can know that it belongs to you. You're not just, you're not trying to, a watermark suggests you're trying to protect your footage from someone else using it. You want to proclaim loud and clear that this is Linda's footage. So make it very obvious. Um, Let's see, John Duffin says he's having difficulty lately pulling the movie from a desktop to iMovie. Well, John, when we get on the phone, you and I will have a conversation and we'll see if we can work around that for you. Steven Wilson, first timer, welcome to the show. Appreciate you jumping on. Uh, yep, David says use the picture-in-picture option in iMovie. That's part of the nine rounds. There are a few other steps around that. And let's see here. Jimmy Celeste, what's up, kiddo? Thanks for joining us, man. Tom Kane is here. And uh, feel free to plug your show as you did. That's cool. And uh, let's see. Linda, any any other questions from everybody else here? Those are all good questions. We have all kinds of the uh, stuff that's going to be getting distributed. A couple of reminders. If you, uh, in addition to getting the link to to download your fight plan for the graphic overlays, you can also hit me up if you need the uh, the five mistakes you're probably making with your website. If you need uh, the 20 places you should be breaking brand right now, or if you need your copy of the Go Get It game plan or instructions to access the Go Get It spotlight, a reminder, that's the $0 way to get your name out to thousands. Just let me know. And I'll also use this opportunity to make a little announcement tomorrow morning, around 8 a.m.-ish. We're going to be dropping the next episode of the Go Get It podcast. We teased that last Wednesday. We're going to be talking to legendary radio programmer, the senior VP of the Howard Stern channels for two decades, and uh, currently the chief content officer at react.net, Tim Sabian, a radio legend. And I had him on for 20 minutes. 
We had a great show. It's going to be awesome. Let's see if there are any other questions. Linda says, should she get a nifty background like mine with uh, her logo? That is snazzy. Uh, you Go for it. Um, you're probably going to drop a few hundred bucks. That's called a step and repeat banner behind my head here. That is six foot by six foot on a big giant stand. Um, you can get them a little smaller, but you can see I need one this size to kind of fit in the wide screen. Um, I recommend you try a website called printrunner.com. Printrunner.com. And uh, David says, uh, great session. Good night. Thank you for joining us, David. I appreciate you. And uh, David from Veteran VO asks about animation suggestions. If you can clarify what you mean by that, meaning a site that you can do animations like uh, motion graphics, or are you talking like cartoony type stuff? Um, and Mark, yes, you do need to send that spotlight. I need your video, brother. And Linda says, holy cow, Tim Sabian. Yes, Tim Sabian. I've known that dude for like 30 years. He's like one of my bestest buds in the broadcasting business. Uh, a great friend. And he's been a mentor to me. And he's going to share some cool information tomorrow morning on that. Yo, Dave Butera, my Malvern Prep brother from another mother. Dude, honest to goodness, I would trade Anything I would trade, I would leave this broadcast right now to be sitting behind the backstop with you, barking at the umpires to watch our kids go mash an interact game. You know it, you know it, brother. And uh, David says, and David Hina, you know, Hosa says, animating your logo. If you want to get your logo animated, you know, there are all types of companies out there that can help you make graphics of your, you know, motion graphics. But After Effects is kind of the best for that. But you got, it's this learning curve is crazy with that. Uh, Drew says, later everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, anybody else here? Last call. Appreciate you guys joining us on Go Get It Live today. Uh, I will be sending out the... Uh, the fight plans for the graphic overlays here shortly. I will be sure once the show is over to comment with you as well. I can't thank you enough for joining me. And uh, you know what we say, right? Go get it.